Gale Force Winds had the privilege to be in conversation with sailors on board HMCS Harry DeWolf while they were deployed in the Caribbean. And welcome to another edition of Gale Force Winds, the Force 8 hometown edition, right here on board HMCS Harry DeWolf. Canada's newest warship and what a ship it is. We're off the coast of the Turks and Caicos in the beautiful Caribbean Sea and have the pleasure to be in conversation with sailors of the Royal Canadian Navy. Andrew, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm going to hoist the mic way up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm a Sailor First Class Renix, Andrew Renix. Uh, I'm a naval communicator here on board uh, HMCS Harry to Wolf. Uh, I'm originally from just outside of Toronto in uh, Mississauga. Just outside Toronto in Mississauga. Tell me what it was like growing up there for you, Andrew. Uh, it's a suburban life. I mean, uh, it's pretty typical stuff, I guess. It wasn't really too exciting. Uh, spent a lot of time in Toronto, the city, and, yeah. and uh, you know. You played rugby? I did, I did. I played rugby in high school. Uh, did some athletics in high school and stuff. I was a swimmer, lifeguard when I was growing up, that kind of thing. I would I would not want to be on the receiving end of a hit <laughs> from you. No way. He's a big fella, isn't he, Jerry? Listen, what? I play hockey. Hockey, you know, you put on equipment. I'm so impressed with anyone who plays rugby. So, uh... I don't get the connection. Mississauga to the Navy. How did all this come about? Uh, it's a little random, I guess. Uh, I had a lot of friends that joined the Army. Uh, the Army wasn't really my idea thing. I figured I was a lifeguard. I did water. The Navy, why not? I'd, I'd never seen the coastline before I joined the Navy, so... So uh, what, you just walk down to the recruiting station there in North York and sign up? Yeah, it was Hamilton. But Hamilton. Uh, yeah, pretty much just walked in said, hey, I want to join the Navy. I don't really know what they do, but I'm, I'm in. And, right. uh, here I ended up, I guess. And so, what what uh, occupation did you narrow in on? Was that your choice, or did they lead you to it? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, so, yeah, just doing uh, communications here on board. Uh, I like doing a lot of the tech work, computers, that kind of thing. So, it fit in pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Tell me now about being a communicator on board this ship. This is a pretty complex ship, no doubt about it. Tell me about your job. Yeah, it, it's a whole new uh, comm suite here. Uh, so, there's a lot to learn. Uh, it is pretty complex. It's a little more modern. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's a nice system to, to do, but it's been a lot of learning, a lot of figuring out uh, the different networks, uh, different capabilities we have. So correct me if I'm wrong. Now, if the computer system goes down on board, you're the guy they come to. Uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, 24/7. I've definitely been woken up a few times from sleep, but that's part of the job. Right. Well, I would imagine too, with a new class of ship, glitches everywhere, right? Always working their way through the system. So, if you were on this ship from day one, is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. yeah so you're a plank owner on this ship. So you're plank owner day one. You're on this ship. Uh, you must have dealt with a lot of good stuff trying to get the ship to where it is here today. Uh, yeah, we've had lots, uh, lots of our fair share of glitches. Uh, but uh, we just worked through them. It's been had a good team to to work with. So it's. Uh, been a lot of good support too within the fleet so yeah. it's, it's and it's a fantastic ship there's no doubt about it <laughs> it is great yeah. it's uh, it's been a lot of fun sailing on it yeah i bet it has andrew uh so how long have you been in the navy now uh, i'm just approaching seven years so seven years in the navy and you just had a birthday i did i did i just turned 40 uh when our last port of call there so 40 in your last port of call yeah. well happy birthday to you <laughs> tell me this what's your favorite part about being in the navy uh i like the the camaraderie you get with the crew. Uh, it's something I think that's pretty unique to, to the forces in general. Uh, when you spend so much time with other people, you get to they become family and it's a, it's a good strong bond that I, I enjoy personally. Yeah, yeah. Jerry, your thoughts? Well, you know, I was just listening to you talk. Uh, it's one thing to be working on your computers, you know, at home. Uh, having to do it here, uh, you've got to put some ingenuity into it, I'm sure, and uh, to keep, it's, you know, one thing to keep your email, email running at home, it's another thing to keep the communications going on this ship, and for that, you know, we're, it's very impressive. Um, I just want to say that, you know, Alan and I bring a message from all Canadians. We are really proud of you, and uh, thank you for serving. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Well, Andrew, anything you'd like to say to the folks back home? Uh, no, just happy to be here, happy to do my job. There you go. Well, that's wonderful. Another wonderful edition of Gale Force Winds Force 8, hometown edition right here on board HMCS Harry DeWolf. What a pleasure it has been to be in conversation with the sailors of the Royal Canadian Navy. And I can tell you this, the world needs more HMCS Harry DeWolf and Canada needs more Andrew Rennox. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Cheers.